Well, howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, and as you know, every now and then I like to make a cooking video, and so that's what I'm going to do tonight, is make you a little cooking video. I've got some pretty good steaks that I'm going to sear in the pan, in the cast iron pans on these two grills, and some olive oil, butter, garlic, and onions, and some seasonings, so we're going to sear them in that, and then grill them here on the grill, and then I just threw together some real quick vegetable beef soup nothing special a combination of fresh vegetables and canned vegetables I'm gonna cook that in the pot on this side of the grill so tonight I'm using all natural lump charcoal we got one that got away on me down there oh, okay and uh, also mesquite wood chunks so the first thing I'm gonna do because I need my soup to come to a boil is I'm gonna get my soup ready and I'm gonna go ahead and set it straight on these coals right here so I can get it nice and heated up and then I'm gonna gonna get set up to start my steak so I'm gonna make this as short and sweet as I possibly can for you so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and let's get to it all right, so I've got my vegetable soup, vegetable beef soup, however, whatever you want to call it. I actually, I'm going to make it a little thick, but I've got my vegetables on the fire here. Now I've got tomatoes, green beans, corn, onion, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. I mean, you name it, it it's in there with some beef broth, garlic season. I've got fresh garlic, as you can see on the top there. So... I'm just gonna bring that to a boil while I cook everything else. And I'm gonna throw a couple wood chunks in here around it. I'm gonna leave the lid off of it for now. Okay, and I'm gonna get these wood chunks going real good. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is shut that. I'm gonna get some of that mesquite smoky flavor in that side there, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my steaks. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna go ahead and start preheating my pans on there, and then we're gonna add our olive oil and um, garlic as well. All right, so now that I have my soup boiling over there on the grill, I'm gonna go ahead and start searing my steak. It's actually starting to rain, but you know what? We're not going to let that stop us. I've cooked over open fires and hot grills in many different weather. So, no way is that going to stop us. Here, I'm going to add all this wonderful butter. Pretty much just break it down. So that it melts easier. Okay, and I actually have two pans going here because I want to go ahead and get this done pretty quick. So I'm going to be doing four steaks at a time. And you know, y'all get creative with this if you're watching this. Trying to come up with new ideas on how to cook stuff and whatnot. You know, take these, take this and get creative with it. Add your own way of doing things and all that other good stuff. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And I've learned that the whole point of the olive oil is it keeps the butter from burning. All right, now we're gonna put some onions in here. Next we're gonna go with fresh garlic. Okay, and while I wait for that to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and run, uh, run and grab the lids to this because as you know, water and oil don't mix well and we're getting rained on. All right, guys, well it is starting to rain but you know what we're not gonna let that 
stop us. We're going to pretend that we have no choice. We have to cook this meal no matter what. It's the apocalypse. This is all we have. We have to cook it. So here we go. All right, now we got those steaks cooking. We'll get them nice and, we'll get them brown on each side. Get them brown on this side. So, looks like with as hot as the fire is and the way they're cooking, I'll do five minutes, uh, five minutes on each side and then we'll move them over to the grill. All right, now that they have cooked for about five minutes on one side, I'm going to flip them here. Go over here to this side, get these flipped. I'll give you a good shot here since it's getting dark. All right, look at that, guys. Now we're going to let it sear and cook on the other side, and that's going to lock all that flavor in there. And then we'll finish it off on the grill. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and flip them on their sides for a little bit as well and cook some of that side fat off also. So I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, so as you can see, I have my steaks kind of just hanging out on the side here, sitting up. Okay, and I'm doing that because I want to cook some of that fat off. I want to get some of that fat off there. If you can see that. Yeah. So I'm going to cook some of that fat off by sitting it up on the edge like that. Whoops. <laughs> get that one. Flip back up. Come on, buddy. There you go. You know, I'll just put you over there. Okay, and then at the same time, I'm going to take you over here. And our side of vegetable soup here is just about ready. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's boiling nice and good. And that's just about ready. And that's where we're going to finish our steaks off at. So stay tuned here. All right, guys. Totally raining on us. Let's do it. Let's get these amazing steaks. Look at that. Look at that sear we have on it now. Let's go ahead and get a move to the grill. Okay, I'm going to see if I can turn on. There we go. All right. Okay. And there's our soup. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, look at that. Ah, we got a flare up. Let's go ahead and close this. Mmm. That is going to be amazing, let me tell you. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely coming down, but let's check out these steaks. Oh, look at that, guys. Can you see that from there? Mmm. There you go. Butter dripping off of them, causing a flare up, but... All that's doing is giving us those nice grill lines on there, so long as we control it. All right. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Now, my family likes well-done steaks, and I know, I know, you're going to, oh, man, that's terrible. It's just, 
If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, and that's the way my wife likes them, so I'm gonna cook these just a little bit longer, get it a little bit better char on the outside of them. I've got the vegetable soup to go with it, so we are good to go. It is starting to pour down rain, but hey, we made it through it. We have a good meal to go with it, so. Uh, remember, I'm, uh, I'm not a professional chef. I just cook for a large family, and I'm pretty good at it, so get creative with it. Uh, do what you can with it and all that other good stuff. Hey, I appreciate everybody that supports my YouTube channel, all my friends and family. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're just coming across this video. And so at this point, I'm going to go eat. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.